Hi everyone, this is PRDN Slides and today I am going to teach you on how you could create an aesthetic and minimalist PowerPoint presentation just like what we have here. But before that, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down your suggestions or opinions, and also do not forget to hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint tutorials, hacks, and also premium PowerPoint giveaways. This is PR10 Slides, and let us now begin. Alright, so before we begin on our tutorial today, I would just like to inform you about the three things that you need to do or you need to know in order for you to achieve a minimalist and aesthetically pleasing PowerPoint presentation. The first one is that the proper usage of the colors. In our presentation today, I use the contrasting technique, which means that I use the darker color for our background with a lighter color for our text or content right over here. This will help our presentation and the content on to be legible for our audiences or for our viewers. The second thing that you need to do is to choose appropriate font styles for your presentation. You do not want to use exaggerated font styles for your report right but you would like to use those font styles that would be suitable on the theme or on your topic all right so on our presentation i use this aesthetic um, font style for our uh, presentation which is the eiffel tower and the akira expanded as well and also this classic news old newspaper style font with this Cascadia code light and I have downloaded all of these in the font.com they are free but you could only use them for personal purposes all right so to begin with let us first start with our blank presentation page in here we, we want to use the same color that I have created earlier so we are going to use a darker a dark color of red all right so we need a four slides for our presentation today first let me just put um the content on our slides all right so this is the content for our first slide so on our presentation i have decided to use as well a contrasting size when it comes to the text or the content for our presentation in here the word i feel i i have decided to make it to like a having a 115 font size with a 48 font size for the tower this is for the emphasis of the title for your presentation and also i added some um, a little bit of text right over here so that it won't look like plain and boring as well. So you see if we only have that kind of content on our first title, on our first presentation page, this content looks like boring and also alone and it's literally kind of plain. So I've decided to add um, this kind of text at the side of it to create balance for the visual of your presentation and we will just do the same thing here on our second slide all right so i've just copied all of the necessary content for our presentation right over here and in here on our second slide and for the rest of the slides i've decided to again use the contrasting effect when it comes to the sizes of these text and also for the other contents inside of these slides so we do not want our presentation to have like these um, sizes of our text or content or rather this kind of sizes for our presentation because 
um, the thing here is that on this slide, it is not legible or rather readable for our audiences when during our presentation. And on this one, it may it seems like readable for our audience or our viewers, but the thing here is that it's not aesthetically pleasing and the um, arrangement of the text are not properly are not properly aligned and it is hard for them to read and understand what you are trying to present um, for them all right because pretty much this is color orange and also the design the background is color orange and it creates a little bit of confusion in here all right and also for your subtitle right over here it's super small and i don't think viewers at the back of the room could re could literally read your presentation so we want it to look like this a little bit bigger and the text would be at the size of 11 or you could increase that to 12. all right so we will just try we will just delete these um slides and now we have this and we also have this and we also have this by the way the color of this text right over here just decrease the transparency of it so that it won't create confusion during the presentation all right okay moving on to our main our main tutorial today so i would like to teach you on how i've created this awesome morph transition effect in our slide with this eiffel tower moving from the top to the bottom and also with the text i mean side motions in each slides there you go All right, so the first thing that we need to do here is just to copy this Eiffel Tower on the second slide. And we need to zoom it out. And we need to enlarge this Eiffel Tower just like that. And we want this top of it to, you know, we need to position it at, on this side. We just want the upper part of the Eiffel Tower and not this bottom part. All right, so what we need to do here is just to crop it out. Go to picture format, select crop, and we will just crop it right over here. All right, there you go. This will be the content for our first slide. As you can see, it's clean and at the same time, minimalist and aesthetically pleasing. All right, so moving on on our second slide. Alright, so we will just copy this crafted Eiffel Tower right over here and we will paste it on our second slide. Thing here is that we want it to first enlarge, just maximize the photo for our presentation, just like that. Alright, so now we have that. We What we need to do is just to go to picture format again, go to crop, and in here, instead of cropping it, downward or upward we will just move the eiffel tower to our desired um, placement or position so we will just move it upward like that and we want to cover and we want the middle part of the eiffel tower to become visible on our presentation just like that or if you want you could move it a little bit right over here all right there you go so we just made a little bit adjustment earlier we do not want our eiffel tower to be like that like it's i mean it's not complete and it looks um inappropriate so that so that is why we've stretched it out um until on this part maximizing the fitness of this photo for our slide there you go. So this is the content of our second slide. And we will just copy that and do the same thing again here for our third slide. So we will just grab it again and move it until 
at the bottom part of our slide. There you go. Perfect. I think this looks good. Okay, we'll just um, adjust it, reposition it right over here. All right, there you go. Now, the next thing that you need to do is to, to copy, paste each of these text to each slides for morph transition effect. Well, you will see it later on. So the thing here is that we do not want our presentation to look like this. See, just a simple and plain transition. But we want to use the morph transition effect for a better result during our presentation later on. So the first thing that we need to do is to copy this text right over here. Only the essential text, alright? But if you would like to have a specific text which will be present in each of your slides, well, you do not want to copy that and rearrange them. Just leave them alone. Just like what I have here, this small text. I would like to leave it there. I would like to leave it there in each of my slides. Alright, so the thing is that I just want to copy this main content right over here. And I would like it to paste it in our first slide and reposition it right over here. So what I'm currently doing right now is that during the morph transition effect, if I go to the second slide, um, this text, the animation or the transition of each text, instead of just having a fade transition, it will gradually move right over here. Alright, so, okay, so for you to appreciate what I'm currently saying, so let's try to add the morph transition effect, and there you go. That's, um, that would be the direction of this content during the morph transition, um, during the presentation, obviously. Okay, so we will just do the same thing on the other text. Alright, but the thing here is that, during the morph transition effect, this content right over here and this content right over here, it just plainly, they just plainly disappeared. I mean, using the fade transition, they just plainly disappeared. So what we want to do is for them to also move in different direction, like an exit animation for this content and also for this content. So what we need to do is just to copy them. So let's first copy this text on our second slide and move it right over here on this side. And also this content right over here, we will just copy that and paste it on our second slide and move it upward. So the thing here is that during the transition, this text right over here will have the exit animation um, towards on this side, which is on the left side. On the other hand, for the Eiffel Tower text, it will exit towards the upper position during the transition. Okay, so let's see what we have here so far. There you go. Perfect. If you would like to increase the duration of it, just simply tap this little bit arrow right over here. So let's try to make it to 3.0. There you go. What is smooth morph transition effect that we have here? Alright, so moving on for our content, we will just do the same thing. So we want this content to also exit downward. So we will just copy this content and paste it here on the third slide. And we will move it down. Now our content on our third slide, for our third slide rather, we will just copy that. And we want to have its entrance animation from this side towards to this original position. So we will just paste it here on the second slide and move it right over here. Just like what we did here on our first slide. Alright. Now moving on to the last um, slide, we will just again copy this main text right over here and paste it here on our third slide and move it right over here. 
there you go and we will just again copy this content and we will just leave this text alone we will not copy that because it will just automatically disappear when we go to the third slide but in here we just want to paste it here and move it downwards there you go and the last thing that you need to do is to select all of your slides and hit the morph transition effect and also if you want to increase the duration again just make it to three seconds all right so now we have all of these slides ready okay but first we will we need to also maximize um the fitness of this photo right over here we just need to max maximize it just like just like that okay so let's just first adjust it adjust it here on the crop and yeah there you go i think this looks good this looks perfect there you go now let's check what we have here so far there you go what a smooth morph transition effect that we have here it's super clean it is minimalist and aesthetically pleasing and i hope that you really learned something today that you could use for to ace your presentation in the future I think this is the end of our video tutorial today. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down your suggestions or what are your thoughts about this tutorial today. And do not forget to hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint tutorials, hacks, and also PowerPoint giveaways. This is PR10 Slides and I hope to see you on our next video again. Really hope that everyone is safe. May you all have a wonderful day ahead. God bless and see you next time.